One of the reasons why I love Hell's Kitchen is that it's super cool in my opinion to see chefs push themselves to the limit in order to have their dream come true. But since Hell's Kitchen is so stressful with massive circumstances on the line, this can lead to some heated arguments and fights between the contestants who are all fighting for the same life-changing prize. What's going on guys, I'm Flint Masters and today we'll be looking at the crazy and sometimes violent history of fights in Hell's Kitchen. We won't be covering every fight to occur obviously, but we will be looking at the most iconic fights in the show's history. As disclaimer, I won't be including any Ramsey fights as I have already posted that video. And I'm going to try my best to not include too many fights that resulted from nomination debates as I've made two separate videos covering those instances, but I will include the craziest ones. Before we begin, please be sure to hit that subscribe and like button for more fun HK content like this. And with all that said, let's take a look back at the most notorious fights in Hell's Kitchen history. Bloody hell, here I go again. While the first two seasons gave us a couple good Ramsey confrontations, we didn't really get any fights between the chefs, but in literally the first episode of season 3, the red team would be a complete train wreck during opening night, as the catty behavior and overall nastiness would lead Ramsey to label them as hell's bitches. No, this is not how you do it. This yeah, is not how you it was parboil it first. Risotto, you don't even add that much liquid to begin with. If you don't know what you're doing, just ask somebody. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna, gonna make that <laughs> taste bitter. Right, I right, teach right, these right, people right. this every day. Okay, all right, all right. The shallots I first. hear you. I hear you, Joanna. Why are we arguing amongst ourselves on a night like tonight? We won't be anymore. Oh. Uh, Fair enough. Because we're I know, but I'll tell you more. I'm over there. Okay, I'll tell you more. Why are you pushing me? Please don't do this to me now. I'm just under too I much mean, stress. Okay, I understand. I have been cooking the same for the last She's eight the only courses. one that's produced a good item, Melissa. Dude, she's telling me my is overcooked, and I, it's the only spaghetti that's done. Yeah, that How many of no, I don't want Ladies, to Ladies, ladies, can we stop arguing? Yeah? Ladies, I've never seen girls bitch so much. Evil and twisted. Hell's bitches. There were a ton of iconic fights in season 5, and that mostly revolved around one person, with that being Lacey. And the funny thing is, Lacey was hardly ever the person to instigate these fights, but due to her lackluster attitude and her teammates feeling like she didn't belong there, this led to many confrontations between Lacey and her teammates. You had all day you know to what? get the souffle started. Oh. You could have had this on a long time ago. Wait, I'm not going to take your I was going to help you until you're being Go ahead. Bitch. Go ahead. You do. If I get kicked off because of you, I swear to God I'm coming after you, Lacey. How dare you sit up here and say that What's wrong? Come on, Corey. Don't say a thing. I come over here, there's nothing done, chef. Okay, nothing. okay. Now why don't you right. tell him how you threatened me? Uh, oh, oh, wait, right. I'm not asking you two to be lovers, okay? Absolutely. Calm down, get a grip, and show me some form of composure, yes? Yes, sir. Oh, my God. You had a saving grace tonight. You better f*** with yourself. Do you hear the way you said that to me? Andrea? I absolutely do. We lost one of our best team members. Do you think you deserve to be here? Do you, do you seriously think you deserve to be sitting right there? Yeah. Well, I'm asking. Do you right want me to go quit right now? Huh? See? You know what? what? Then never shut the f up about it. Do you supposed to take the paper off? Robert, trust me. It's not your f you stop right now and listen to what we're trying to tell you. I'm sick of Robert you. yelling at me. And you're not. He's trying right. to help you. He's Lacey. trying to help you, Lacey. That's, I that's... know, but mm, never mind. Push this. I back. don't know what's in your dish. Oh, I hate you guys. Stopping now. I, I quit. Oh my lord. In season 6, we were introduced to Van's larger than life personality, and while this made him an all time fan favorite, his over the top personality sometimes rubbed people the wrong way, especially John Philippe, as the two had vastly different personalities, and after Van didn't treat the dining room to JP's standards, this led to JP's first and only confrontation in Hell's Kitchen, a truly iconic moment in the show's history. I'm going to explode, huh? I'm going to explode, my friend! Listen to me! Whoa, whoa! Listen! Listen! Listen to me! I cannot believe I'm seeing this. Listen to me. We have a problem here. Hit him. Don't touch me, bro. You better get out of my face. Hey, hey, oh. hey, 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 hey. While it's fun as a viewer to watch Raj constantly make dumb decisions, it's obviously not as fun for the chefs working alongside with a little moron. This led to a couple fights with Raj in the middle. As in episode 2, basically the whole team attacked him after service, and then the following episode, Trev, one of Raj's few friends, finally had enough, telling Raj off until Raj fired back at him. Please, kids, how dare you condescend to me? I'm 28 years old, I've been a professional in this industry 14 years. You're 50, how dare you condescend to me, man, you stupid Shut the f up. Bro, you're 50 years old and you couldn't pick pasta. You're a douchebag. No, bro. Attacking me. You, man. You. Raj, you're a waste of life. You bitch. You're a waste of life, Raj. You. That's that is even still here. Unfair. 
What's unfair about it? You suck. And you're tankless. You guys gonna keep going with it? Yes. You really get it through that thick skull of yours. Just go home. Go home and stuff yourself with Twinkies so you have a heart attack on your recliner. You gotta be good at something, right? Aside from sleeping and eating and running your damn jaw, you gotta be good at something. What the have you done so far? You dilly dally at pastry section. Shut up. You Shut, up. Shut up. Shut Shut up. Shut the up. Or what? Guys, guys, I said, guys. Shut up. Come on. All you. You guys are a bunch of snakes. You snake. Yeah. And then on the red side for season eight, one innocent looking 22 year old prep chef would turn out to be one of Hell's Kitchen's most notorious villains, causing many fights with their peers throughout the season. Put me up. Put me up. I don't give a f Put me up. Put me up. Put me up. on your little ghetto attitude and shut the f up. Are you to turn the f up? You're an executive chef. You ain't done better than me at all. At all. Emily, yeah, she f up and she sucks, but at least, you know, she hasn't done as horribly as Melissa. And I'm here to grow. I have bigger balls and more determination than any of these girls here. All of them put together, chef. And then the following season, Sabrina would unbelievably be worn out by a chef in terms of causing fights and drama, along with some other fun fights from that season. First time all the food was don't up there. Don't talk to me right now. No, at least I don't want to hear what you got to say. Get out of my face. Let me ask you a serious question right now. Do you take medication? Because I think that you are Quit living like in this. another world. You f up the whole rhythm of the kitchen, and I, and I knew this was going to happen. You I did. Yes, Please you did. Stop it. Yes, I did, did. not. Yes, you you did. know how bad I want this. Well, stop it. Well, was I an individual then? When no one else would step up, and I did? Shut it, up. It was not one shut up for five seconds. That's your problem. You don't shut up and listen to what we have to say. Oh, I take constructive criticism. Shut up my turn. What's the because point? Because we're here to listen. If, no, you're not no, listening because I've thrown out so many I'm ideas and y'all saying no. You know what? I'm we need to chill right now. Seriously? You, it's not oh, true. Oh, you know what? Black Shut up! Elise. I don't care how you much need you to I'm going to say what I want to say. We need to get this going. You all, those men, you guys all need to settle down. This is not red team, blue team. No! That's exactly what I was talking about when I said that we didn't want the red team coming over here. I am bothered, Chef, but uh, we'll try not to let him down next time, Chef. And I'm really happy for Paul that he actually learned how to cook protein. You want to pull him out right now, man? I mean, that what you yeah, want? Hey, I mean, we can lay no, him out on the table if you it. want to. I mean, Sounds honestly. Good, buddy. You ever pull a on me again, I will slap you across okay. the Shut up, dumpling. I'll say whatever the I want, all right? Don't ever act like a tough guy again to me. Tough guy? Right? Yeah. You act like a tough guy. You have to all all right, I right, want. Right, you look right, like a little breadcrumb dumpling ass. You're irate. I am irate. But then in season 10, we would get the most notorious season of chef fights, to the point where this season literally would have two-part episodes to highlight these insane fights. Again, say what you will about the disgusting personalities on the season 10 red team, but man, to say these fights were absolutely crazy would be an understatement. I think all three of y'all are pieces of for talking about me about last night at the jacuzzi. Okay, so you didn't say that I should have made corn tortillas instead of flour. I said nothing about your dish. You heard somebody say something and now you're coming at us. And I'm not we don't know why. That's not really fair. Right. You are I'm because you weren't there and you didn't hear if it. If you don't quit <laughs> interrupting me and screaming over me. I said nothing about your dish. You're a bitch. Bitch, I got fish, you cocky bitch. Don't ever call me a bitch again, you understand? That's way up the table. You get that I'm not about to get choked. You go, yeah. Yeah. You, you want to get choked out? I'm you not choked out, you don't. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. I know you're this close to snapping, Robin. I don't give a bitch. I know you don't. Your ears need to be cleaned out, bitch. You better watch you hey, 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 bitch. Hey, get in my face. Real. I am in your face. Hey, dog. Bye bye. bye. Hit me. I ain't hit me. Because I hit me. I ain't hit me. Oh my no, God. Robin, hit me. Robin, hit me. In season 11, the fights would begin right away, as Nedja and Gina would get into it after Gina annoyed the team with her puppet, and in general, Nedja feeling like she didn't belong. Well, at the end of the day, don't throw me under the bus. Who? Uh, you? How the hell is my fault the scallops is messed up? I didn't think it was, was your Zoto fault. Nobody's gonna say I said something when I didn't. Well, you don't know what the hell you said okay? right now. <laughs> don't laugh at me. You better watch your P's and Q's because you don't know me. I know you crazy. Don't call me crazy. Let's press the bell, bitch, because we can argue. Don't hey. call me bitch. Yes, I'm dealing with a crazy, deranged person. What a baby. Take me Zoto. Oh. 
Oh my god, she just broke the ceiling! <laughs> But the most iconic fight from this season came from on paper the least likely person to start a fight, with that being 51 year old Ray. After a train wreck dinner service at the final 15, Ray and Dan were the clear nominees for the blue team, as their mistakes as a duo on the fish station was the main cause of the blue team's ejection from the kitchen. However, Grandpa Ray was not about to go down without a fight, especially since he felt like young buck Dan left him out to dry during dinner service. Oh, <sighs> sulking on the line, you little bitch. Is he calling me a little bitch? No matter what anybody does, it's my place. Our station. Can I drive? Come on, please, Daddy. Can I drive? Get the f out of my face, would you please? Please let me cook. Okay, I don't sound like a child. Stop that. You sound like a little bitch. If he starts to sink, you hop in. I tried to hop in. Yeah, but I didn't ask you to. You're interfering with me, bitch. Don't call me a bitch. You're a bitch. Do something about it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Right. Season 12 was around the time the fights and general big time personalities slowly began to fade, but that didn't appear to be the case to start the season. As in the freaking premiere, the trio of Sandra, Nicole, and Joy fought basically the entire night, leading the three of them to get kicked out of the kitchen, where things escalated even more in the dorms. The three of them are finally communicating. Well, sort of. But then in episode 3, we would get in my opinion the craziest nomination debate fight in Hell's Kitchen history, as after a third straight ejection, the blue team completely lost it on Mike, their perceived weakest link, and a chef nobody liked, making him an easy target. You stood there like a bitch, yep. just standing there watching him. I did. Go back to the grocery store, I go to the grocery store and keep working. Come on, come on. As mentioned, seasons 13 and 14 both had really talented cast who actually all got along with each other relatively well, and arguably the nicest chef out of the bunch was Millie, one of Hell's Kitchen's all time popular chefs, as his passion and teddy bear like attitude despite his frame made him a fan favorite. However, this made it all that more shocking when essentially out of nowhere, he lashed out at Brendan. Brendan, I've been seeing cats like you all my life make more money than me and can't get on the line of burn. All right. You saw. All right, all right, please, you show all these little please. specials and then I'm standing there putting all yeah, that yeah, the yeah. whole day. Every time I say something I, I, to you, I, I, you second yeah. guess me every yeah. time I say something to you. What the man? Everything's cool. How you lead a brigade? How you get to walk in your kitchen and say you executive chef and then I walk in there and burn you the down on your line? You run a bunch of Mexicans that don't make no money and then burn you down. You got me twisted, dog. You know how I mentioned that starting in season 12, the casting of HK would begin to change and the fights weren't as prevalent along with better overall talents? Well, that went completely out the window for a two season stretch between seasons 15 and 16. In season 15, we would get a fight so shocking that the entire next time in Hell's Kitchen preview hyped this up as the greatest fight in Hell's Kitchen history. And while I don't necessarily agree with that, it was intense and it literally could have resulted in the first production ejection in Hell's Kitchen history after Jackie assaulted Kristen. Kristen, give me your lighter. No. Give me your lighter. Talk like you touch my lighter, I will punch you in the face. Give me my punch lighter. me in the face. Either light your cigarette or give me my lighter. You're a disgusting ass bitch. Don't disrespect me. You got it. Get the out of here. Kristen, sit down. Yeah. 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 Get, I'm dead. Get the out of here. Put your hands on me. Get your hands Get the out of my face. Put your hands on me. Put your hands on me. Done. Put your hands on me. Out of my face. Put your hands on me. Out of my face. What the f is wrong with you? Those ashes smell. And then season 16 was a complete cluster F when it comes to fights, as the men were constantly getting the fights with each other and the woman, while the red team also had their fair share of fights, with the highlight being Gia versus Kimberly. But don't, me, don't sit there and start saying your because you up too, and not yeah. just once. We can sit here and argue about this all day. We you damn sure could. Bitch. And I'm going to tell you. me how you get it. We don't see it okay. I said, all right. Wendy didn't say a word. He died was from the beginning. I don't care. Because everything was Listen ready. to what she's saying right now, and you're going to tell me you're going to vote for me over her. No space on the 
half station because it was full of risotto. That is the weakest excuse I've ever heard for being Whatever. See that? No fight. What am I supposed to do when you guys are telling me that I'm Oh, she's already said I'm frustrated. Me up. She turned said into that? something else. She just said. I did not say I gave up. You're an idiot. I don't I'm care. not an idiot. Hey, and can you just say who you're putting up, please? Y'all vote. Your station trying to help you guys. Some of you dare throw it at me. You've had two you people. Shut the up. Hey. Hey. Side doing hey. the whole time. Hey. Oh, Hold your hand. Why are you doing that? So you can look good. You me. You us all. Get the you us all because you don't know how long it takes to cook lamb. You're the Let's weakest one. You're the weakest one. There. You're the weakest one, bro. You I die on every station. And finally, we finish off with the most notorious firecracker in modern Hell's Kitchen, with that being Mark. Seriously, his personality would have relished on an old school cast. Nonetheless, in season 19, Mark's loud mouth was simply too much for most of his castmates to handle, and say what you will about the man, but he is truly the last drama starter we've had in these past five seasons. You're full of and you can kiss my ass. The result you could, then the oven was off after you think that. I turned off your oven. Okay, I'm asking you a wow. question. Your times are inaccurate, and you can't cook. You deserve I can to cook way go better than you. home. I can cook way you better than you. You deserve to go home. I can home. cook way better than you, and you talk too much. That's a nice. Dude, the whole night. Well, you know what? Then I won't talk then. Yeah, you guys. perfect. The whole night, man. That's why. We are done. Y'all full of. So there you have it guys, the crazy and sometimes violent history of Hell's Kitchen fights. Leave a comment down below on which fight was your favorite, and of course be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll get you more fun HK content just like this. With all that said, take care everyone, and I'll see you next time. Get out of there.